What do we got? Oh, ew. I don't garbage you the game you think i want this there are two boxes right now on Dean machina however that one's a normal box this is a box that's just always open and just says ffar uh i wonder what happens if we take this Ew. all right welcome back guys here we are back on black ops cold war and today we're gonna be doing something very special slash different i haven't seen anyone do this and maybe there's a very good reason for that so we're gonna be going over every single mastercraft weapon in this entire video in this one single game of zombies not only inspecting it but also getting a kill with it luckily enough there's quite a few that are wall weapons and you know maybe we should turn off the rampage inducer before we inspect this let's go ahead so that is going to help us out but there are a lot of these we're going to have to get out of the box and there's a lot of weapons in the box so this might take quite a while so let's go ahead apply blueprint the special batch right here so let's go ahead do the inspect Yeah, you know, this has definitely always been one of the more weird inspects. You tap the front of the glass where there's a rat, then you proceed to pour a toxic liquid out of it, and then you proceed to drink it. This is just one of the more interesting ones because it just, it's got so much going on and it looks pretty sick. It gives you a really ridiculous scope on a shotgun that you definitely don't need in zombies. But yeah, that is the goal. Every single Mastercraft, there are 26 mastercrafts in the game right now so we are going to be buying the box an absolute ton this game and uh you know i'm hoping we can get this done before round 80 that is the goal if you guys want to see more stuff like this maybe we could do the same thing on mauer or toten in my opinion mauer or toten has the best pack a punch camos in this game if you want to see a part two where we max pack every mastercraft all tier one two three pack a punch camo wise on Mauer or Toten, if we get, you know, maybe 2,000 likes on this video, we'll do that. Let's see. First box, hit, get us a Mastercraft that we got to work with. I have a feeling the LC-10 is going to be kind of hard. Oh, yo, a sentry gun. Let's, oh, oh, M16. We can buy that off the wall as well. Make it a little bit easier. And I kind of want to do the same thing in Vanguard. Unfortunately, you can't apply blueprints in Vanguard. So that makes it a little bit more difficult. How much was the M16? The goaded M16, 1,500. Yo, we don't... We don't got money for that right now. Ooh, double points. Here we go. Second Mastercraft of the video. I Just to double check, make sure we got a kill with it. So here we go. Apply blueprint. The incubator. Oh, try one more time. There we go. Oh, uh, one of the grossest Mastercrafts in the game. Let's turn the volume up for this one. Yeah, it's a living, like, alien weapon with, like, a green bulge on the side. You know, the M16 was one of the most popular weapons in this game's life cycle, and it got the grossest map. Like, look at those iron sights. Look at the iron sights of this. You can't see anything. It's got, like, weird growth on the side. But, you know, this is the M16 Mastercraft we got. One of the original ones added into this game. So I'm going to go ahead, open up this map. You know the drill. While I'm doing that, if you're new here and want to sub, I would greatly appreciate that. And on top of that, I got to give a massive thanks. If you like, comment, and watch this video in its entirety. And this is not a Mastercraft. Or this is not a weapon we can turn into a map. There was no melee Mastercrafts in this game. Huge missed opportunity. Oh, Pellington. This is another box-only weapon on this map. The Mortal Anguish. One of the original Mastercrafts, but so insane. Look at this bad boy. Go ahead and spec that. Like, oh, this one just so sick, bro. The gun has like a life of its own. Look at it just start to shake like this. Like you can tell you can't control it anymore. Then you open it up. The bullet just comes flying out and then it just gets sucked back into the gun. I don't know, man. I want to see more stuff like this, especially in Vanguard with the inspects. All right. We need to move the box as soon as possible because we cannot get fire sales until the box moves. And I need to start crossing these off as we go to make sure we end up getting them all. What do we got next? Uh, though, the M16. We could have saved a little bit of money. Did it need to buy it off the wall? We could have got it out of the box. Come on. Oh, dang it. I thought we got the stoner. The stoner is another box only weapon. All right, boys, I'm gonna do some more grinding. Oh yeah, we've also got the MP5 Mastercraft, which uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about this in a second. Let's go ahead, put on the Roman MP5. This one was, I think, the season three battle pass. One of the few... Uh, Mastercrafts in the entire game without unique inspects. This is a default MP5 inspect. The weapon itself looks cool, but dude, in this, in my opinion, just shouldn't have been a Mastercraft. This, if it doesn't have a unique inspect and it isn't like does something insane, like it looks cool, 
but I don't see in what way this is a Mastercraft. I think they just called this a Mastercraft to get more people to buy the Battle Pass. Because, like, oh, oh, you get a Mastercraft weapon, but the Mastercraft weapon isn't really a Mastercraft. Oh, but we also get to do the Gallo right here. We're very quickly going to run out of wall weapons. Go ahead, put on the Blast O Matic, the one Mastercraft that was completely catered for zombie fans, the Ray Gun Gallo. Go ahead, inspect this bad boy. This inspection is kind of like an inside joke. It's supposed to be breaking open the ray gun, realizes he can't do it, and then he sticks in some batteries. Like, it's cool. I like the inspect for this weapon. I just think it's kind of bland compared to other ones. I get it. It's like an inside thing, but at the same time, it's just a little underwhelming. Watch. First hit, we're going to get another weapon, dude. Let's get the MAC-10 out of the way. The MAC-10 is another weapon we can only get from the box. Nope, this does not have a Mastercraft. Come on. Come on, give us something. Give us something that's box only, baby. Oh, the bullfrog right here. Apply blueprint. We've got the Malayan mallet. Dude, I'm not even going to try to say this because I will butcher the crap out of it. One of the OG Mastercrafts as well. Does the little thing. Gets some bolts put on it. And then he wipes them off, putting the magazine back in. You know, nothing too special. But it was one of the first few that were added end of the game honestly i think i kind of want to do the same thing for reactive we have a bunch of reactive variants we don't have all of them in the game the only thing about doing that is one reactors work differently we would have to get like 150 kills with every single weapon in the game to get the max tier reactive and i'd have to buy a bunch of them i am missing so many reactives but if you guys really want it and this video gets a lot of support okay if we hit 5,000 likes on this video I will buy every reactive variant and max out every reactive variant in one game of zombies. Meaning I will be getting 150 plus kills with every reactive variant in uh, one game. And seeing the max form, which will be a, uh, that will be a big undertaking. So, you know, hopefully we don't hit those 5k likes. But uh, here we go. Boom. Mac 10 time, baby. Give me another weapon we need to work with. What do we got? Oh, ew. I don't garbage. Ew. The game, you think I want this? You think I want the ray gun on round eight? Nah, we looking for Mastercrafts today, baby. Boom, baby, F-F-A-R. Go ahead, apply blueprint, the shredder variant. And you know, we're gonna have to turn up the volume on this bad boy. Let's go ahead and spec this jam out. So yeah, that's the cool part about this inspect. It's got a little song to go with it. The F-F-A-R being one of the best weapons in zombies right now. Also, the weapon itself is a guitar with a very long barrel. Pretty interesting Mastercraft at the end of the day. Oh, yeah, we got the XM4 down here. The XM4 is actually our first weapon of this game that has two Mastercrafts. We've got the first one that was added in, the SWAT Master, which kind of basic, you know, got a little bit of electricity. You touch the battery and then you touch the front of it and get zapped like a bug. Nothing nothing too insane this was actually no it was not never mind hold on hold that phrase it wasn't the first one the Krig was the first one then we also have the white rabbit this was the first reactive mastercraft in the game so let's go ahead get that inspect eat the bug and yeah this one is when things got a little bit crazy in this game it essentially go into like the dark aether which not really but i mean and uh you, you high five the gun overall craziness and what this is by a reactive mastercraft this also reacts. If I were to get 150 kills with this weapon, it would start to light up. It would start to glow. The weapon would change as I get kills, but that's for a different video. We're not doing all the reactives, and I think there's actually another weapon that we've unlocked. I think the AK-74U is on the wall down here. Dude, we are flying through these. Well, I mean, at least the wall weapons. Once we run out of wall weapons, I have a feeling this is going to take a dramatic turn in terms of the amount of time it takes. Let's go ahead, inspect this bad boy in the light outside. All right, so the first one we got for this was the, uh, where, where, ah, the collector's item. This was the first Mastercraft introduced to the game and probably one of the worst inspects. Legitimately presses the button and then looks at the weapon and then does a little ADS. Yeah, that is, that is all for this Mastercraft. But luckily enough, it was given a second one, the mythical lamp. And this one definitely is the better of the two. Sits here, he rubs the lamp, you get a little magical genie that comes out of it and yeah that is the whole thing the iron sights for this one are the red dot sight is also kind of fancy dancy as well fire sale let's go come on come on give me the lc10 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 
Ooh, what do we got? Oh, sledgehammer. Yeah, once again, not really going to help us much in the Mastercraft division. Going to keep holding on to the ray gun. What we got? 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 Oh, AK. This is another one we need to go ahead and do. So this is the interesting one. The AK has four Mastercraft weapons. Most weapons in this game don't have a single one. This one's got four. Starting off with the ICBM rifle, one of the OG Mastercrafts, still one of the best in the game. Looks insane with the inspect. And this thing with Dark Aether and DM Ultra, any camo you slap on this, looks fantastic go ahead drop a kill with it now we're gonna cycle to the second one that was introduced which was the science project this actually came with the Hauer mastercraft we showed earlier doesn't have a unique inspect so kind of lame got a very generic red dot site make sure wait do we get a kill with it there we go got a kill go ahead now we're gonna put on the highway butcher this mastercraft would have made sense to be on a different weapon all they did was slap a lizard on this bro they could have put this on any other ar this could have been on the groza and it would have worked just fine so there's a lizard you feed him a fly and he does a little trick little fred fred the lizard does a little mohawk flips around boom go ahead get a kill with that now the final one the void monster one of the last mastercrafts added in go ahead inspect this and dude this thing is sick lights up you pet it it's got a moving eye on the front of it uh yeah and then dude the elo side on this is probably the cleanest ads out of any weapon in this game look at that look at that red dot side a lot of people think this reminds them of the wonder waffle and this is also reactive as you get killed it starts to light up it turns blue and we've got to kill one enemy with this the whole point of this challenge is to inspect and get a kill with of course should have reloaded the weapon. Boom. There we go. AK can be crossed off the list, baby. All right. Just two wall weapons remain. Go ahead and get the Krig. You guys probably already know the exact Mastercraft this is. And then on top of that, we have the LW3. And these are the last two wall weapons. After this, everything comes out of the box. Go ahead. Apply Blueprint. The Mothership Tundra. Yes, let's go. And then the Krig, the uh, Ice Drake. Probably the most iconic Mastercraft ever. This was huge when this came out. This made a bunch of like actual mainstream news because it was a flying dragon gun in Call of Duty. And it's still one of the coolest Mastercrafts. This was released very early on in the game's life cycle. I mean, it looks great. DM Ultra, Dark Aether, any camo you put on this bad boy, it is sick. And it was the first stat changing gun in Cold War. It actually has a pseudo cryo freeze on it. And uh, after this day, they started adding a lot more stat changing guns. But this was the first stat changing weapon in this game. Then we have the LW3 Tundra. Once again, another fantastic one. It flies out of your hands with the blue jets. It's got a bunch of planes that fly around it. And all in all, this is just, it's just crazy. It's just a lot going on with it. And then the iron sights for it. Yeah, look, look at that. Look at that freaking scope, baby. But there we go. From this point on, we are down to box weapons only. Let's see if we can get a lucky one right off the rip. Nope, this one doesn't have one. I saw the EM2. That is another one that we have to get. One of the few DLZ weapons. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. It's... Nope, all right, let me do some grinding, boys. Oh, here is the FARA. This is another one. This is the newest Mastercraft added into the game, the Warbreaker. Kind of interesting. It's got a lot going on with it, but like... You pull out a wrench, the gun jams. So you inspect it. It looks like an old, like, Cold War machinery type thing. You know, it starts beeping, malfunctions. You hit it. The stuff stops moving. Put a little bit of wrench in it, and then all of a sudden, boom. Gun's working again. Go ahead and get our kill with that. So that one's off the list. Another uh, box-only weapon. We're still... Dude, I feel like the LC-10 is going to be our last one unless... Wait, wait, wait. And oh, we don't even have money rip. Oh, there we go. QBZ, another weapon. Come on, let's get two Mastercrafts in this one box bin. Essentially, what we're doing now is we're just farming fire sales. We're doing the old uh, Groza doesn't have a Mastercraft. I wish it does. I love the Groza. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Bullfrog, dang it. Well, at least we got one brand new weapon here. This being the QBZ. And can we apply it while we're floating up? Let's see the Furnix Afino. Yes, we can. Once again, this one's a lot like the Mythical Lamp. So it looks pretty sick looks better with iron sights uh but what you do for the inspect you pull out a key you stick the key into the weapon and then a fire phoenix pops out of the weapon yeah insanely sick one of the cooler looking mastercrafts this weapon just isn't that great in zombies at the end of the day but this is one that i'm not sure why they put an acog sight this has one of the coolest looking ads sights in the game unfortunately you can't take it off mid game because you get to see that giant bird head when you ads but uh here we go, boys. We now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more weapons to get out of the box on round 32. 
I don't know if we're going to get this done before round 80. I really don't. Ah. PPSH, this one's actually a really weird one. This technically has two Mastercrafts, but one of them are bugged out and it doesn't show the Mastercraft. This was considered a Mastercraft, even though it doesn't have the Mastercraft icon. It just got the custom weapon icon. So yeah, this being the Night Raid, no, it does not have a unique inspect. It is kind of cool. It's not, rea yeah, it's just, this is a Mastercraft. Uh, go ahead, get our kill with it. Now that it's round 36, it takes a hot minute to get a kill with these weapons without packing them. Honestly, you know, uh, you know, we're going to be stubborn. We're not going to pack this sucker. We're just going to keep going. Boom. Napalm burst kill. I'll count it. Apply blueprint. There's a second one. They're both called Night Raid. And this is because I bought Vanguard on both uh, PS4 and Xbox on this account. So, and this is what you get for pre-ordering Vanguard. Uh, this is just a normal PPSH that's considered a Mastercraft. Yeah, no unique inspect. It's just missing all the stuff. But you know, for completionist sake, we'll also go ahead and get the kill with this bugged out secondary Mastercraft. I don't know if we'll add this to the total. You know what? Screw it. We'll add it to the total. Why not? You know, we'll consider it a Mastercraft. The exclusive double pre-order Mastercraft. Boom, baby. PPSH off the list now. Yo, EM2, let's go, baby. One of the few DLC weapons to get to go ahead and put on this one here. Very interesting. A lot of people consider this one of the best as well. A lot goes on with this. So yeah, the gun does a little shaking, pulls out a hookah. You take a hit, you know, and then you act like nothing happened, put it back in. Once again, this is another reactive Mastercraft. There's only like four of them in the game. As you get 200 plus kills, this one starts lighting up more and more. And you know what? Just for luck, let's buy it one more time. We're gonna get two in a row. Dang it! Oh, I saw the AUG there, bro. The AUG is another one that we still freaking need. Oh, wait, did I end the round? Crap, crap, crap. Okay, good, good, good. One zombie left. We've got 45,000 points. The goal is just to keep spending points till we ran out. For a second there, I got a little carried away and I thought I ended the round. Oh, oh, there we go. That is the stoner, boys. The very, oh, well, the only. I was about to say the very first Mastercraft LMG, but the only Mastercraft LMG, the stoner, able to mark this off our list. Rev the weapon a little bit. Look at that. Got a really cool red dot sight. I love it when they do these. Oh, do we get a kill? 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 All right, we got one. We got one. Okay, we got a few. I don't want to end the round though. I don't want to end the round. So all the LMGs are done. All the snipers are done. All the AOs are done. We're just missing SMGs. Come on, dude. Um, I don't know. Can we finish the rest? Off? Oh, KSP. Here we go, dude. Two in one little segment. Let's go apply blueprint. The tape deck. The first Mastercraft I did a review on. We got we to gotta pump the jams for this one, boys. Hold on. No, 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 no. Not that. Not that. Hold on. Yeah. Boom. Honestly, a pretty underwhelming Mastercraft. Like, I like the colors of it, but the gun skin itself is lame. The only cool part is, you know, it's got a cassette tape in the front that you pull out and you do a little flip and it plays a little music, but you get the zombie music there. So that's kind of nice. Now we just need the MAC-10, the Ace, LC-10, the LC-10. We need the MAC-10, the LC-10, and the AUG. And we are done, boys. Three weapons remain. And of course we get this again. Oh, there we go. That is a good one. We got another ray gun, but now we can check out the Flying Dutchman. A lot of people think this is the best Mastercraft in the game. And just to prove the point, hold on, let's look at it first before we inspect it. Look at the detail of this. Plays a song, has a ghost come out of it, and then it has rockets that come off. There's just so much going on, and the fine detail of this camo is insane. It looks awesome with all the camos. And to prove the point, we'll put a pack a bunch of camo on. Imagine this with, like, Dark Aether or DM Ultra, though. Like, it just... It looked like even the flag on the top has the cam on it. So boom, boys, two left. We're just missing the MAC-10 and the LC-10. And what did I say at the beginning of this video? I said I had a feeling it was going to be the freaking LC-10 that took us 80 rounds to get. So maybe, right? No. Oh, crap. I almost forgot. We actually got to get a kill with this. Woo, almost messed up the challenge there. Boom, there we go. There's a kill with the AUG. Unfortunately, it was the last zombie. So unless we get it in these last few hits, we're going to have to go back to Pentals. Ooh, another wonder weapon. Three wonder weapons. Wonder weapon cowboys. Come on, come on. Mac 10, Mac 10, Mac 10, Mac 10, Mac 10. Come on before it moves, before the zombies get in. Mac 10, Mac 10, Mac 10, Mac 10. Ah, all right, rip. All right, time for another episode of a random bug I've never experienced in zombies till years later. There are two boxes right now on D Machina. However, that one's a normal box this is a box that's just always open and just says ffar uh i wonder what happens if we take this weapon it's been like this for like a couple minutes now so it's oh and it just clo oh cool i have never seen that bug before and hopefully this box still works normally 
because that one legitimately just had a ghost F. Oh, I guess it's down here. That one just had a ghost FFAR in it. Oh, when you look at that, this one works perfectly fine. So uh, have you ever experienced this bug before? I don't know why, but here in year two for Cold War, I'm just getting new bugs left and right, baby. Oh my God, two ray guns in a row. We have gotten like 10 ray guns now. 10 freaking ray guns. Ah, round 60, here we go. How did I know it was gonna come down to the MAC-10 and the LC-10? Doesn't matter, go ahead, put on the blast idle for the mac 10 go ahead Ooh, we're on round 60 now so we, we can't be we can't be messing around like we were before here is the ins oh rip 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 okay da, 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 da. all right go ahead get that inspect off got like schrodinger's cat opens his hand you poke around prod with it pretty basic let's go ahead get a kill with it you know um we're gonna need sh we're, we're, we're gonna need an elemental effect to uh to activate to be able to get the kill with it come on come on Come on, okay, I'm not sure we'll count the electric cherry kills. Come on! Bro, we've got elemental pop. Something, activate, please. I don't wanna have to go pack this. Bro, something. How is elemental pop not, bro, elemental pop, you're useless. Okay, well, we'll, we'll worry about that in a second. Here is uh, the LC-10. Go ahead, apply blueprint, the neutral. Apply blueprint, the neutral minimalizer, the new neutral minimalizer. So here we go. Inspect the weapon. Yes, there is a shark on the side of it. You press the big red buttons. Rockets come out. The rockets go all over the place. One of the more ridiculous looking mastercrafts. The site's also pretty cool with it. And come on, bro. How? How? Dude, an element mod needs to just. Okay, let's go pack these. We're just going to have to go pack. Oh, no, 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 no. God dang it. Ugh. Nuke, thank you. Yeah, so um, turns out round 60, non-pack a bunched weapons and having, I don't know why elemental pop won't activate. Elemental pop kind of being a nuisance right now, but you know, we'll live. We'll live. Elemental pop will, all right, maybe now? Maybe now? There we go. Come on, get that dead wire kill. Get that dead wire kill. Come on. All right, boom. Now we're just missing, you know, screw it. We're not going to pack it out of out of principle. We're going to get the final MAC-10 kill as soon as, oh, wait, 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 we get ring of fire. We get ring of fire. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. One zombie kill. Yes. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. Zombie elimination. Oh, here we are about to lose the game. Doesn't matter. We're pretty much done. The game needs to end at some point anyway. Yeah, this is the end of it, guys. That was a lot more difficult than what I would thought. I have spent an extremely long amount of time buying the stupid box, trying to get the stupid LC-10 and the stupid MAC-10. Finally, we have managed to get it. If you guys want to see an updated version of this when the new Mastercraft for the Vargo comes out, let me know. And like I said, if this gets 2,000 likes, we will do the same thing again on Mauward or Toten. But instead of just getting a kill and inspecting each weapon, we will legitimately max Pack-a-Punch, checking out the Pack-a-Punch camo on every single Mastercraft, which is going to be a nightmare of a video. Also, if you guys have any other ideas, maybe doing this again, but reactive, Dude, that's going to be even bigger of a nightmare to do this entire video again, but with reactive, <laughs> reactive weapons. I'm not going to promise that one. Maybe, maybe if we do the other video and then that one also gets good support. Maybe we'll do the reactive one because I would have to buy every reactive variant, which would be a couple hundred bucks because this game has uh, an insane amount of blueprints. With that, guys, we're going to wrap this one up. Thank you guys so much for watching, especially all the way to the end. We got our main channel here where we upload main COD zombie videos. We got the second channel where we upload daily Minecraft and COD mobile videos. And then we have the Facebook page. We're uploading exclusive daily videos playing through hardcore Minecraft survival and God of War. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Oh, hey there. Thank you for watching the entire video. I've got to take this last moment here to give a huge thanks to everyone who came to Twitch sub, our YouTube member, and extra special thanks to those who have taken above and beyond and became an Unlock Plus Plus member on YouTube. We've got the 2X Trader Purple. We've got the most OP Gobblegum ever, Round Robin. We have the hero, Arrow Pharaoh. And then we've got the absolute legend, Peyton Perkins. Once again, got to get a huge thanks to all of them for becoming Unlock Plus Plus members here on YouTube.